everyone and welcome back to my channel so as it's friday i have another nail tip friday video to show you and today it's a neon ombre with a little something extra so i really hope you enjoy watching this design so i'm coming in with my first bead and i just sort of picked this bead up a little bit small so i just popped it on the nail and blended it down just really smoothed it out because I like to work nice and thin with my colours, especially when doing any design work. So then I come in with a larger bead, placed it on the nail, really faded the back of it out because you don't want there to be a harsh line when creating an ombre. And then I'm just bringing the rest of the colour down towards the free edge. So really smoothing it out again, keeping everything nice and thin. And then going to come in with another bead and blend out the back of it and pull that down towards the tip just to make sure that the nail is fully covered and that the colour is nice and opaque. Keeping everything nice and neat, I do lots of swiping with my brush just so that there's no lumps or bumps in that acrylic. I'm then coming in with this colour which is called Fairy Dust and placing that at the cuticle area, getting that area nice and neat and then just bringing it down the nail. Again, nice light strokes because you don't want to move too much of the acrylic, you're just creating that gentle fade. So then I come in with another bead just to build up the colour and to bring the fade further down the nail. So here you can see I'm just fading it out over that neon pink. And then I, you can just come in with as many beads as you like until you are happy with the fade. I did come in with a fair few small beads, small wet beads, just to make sure that I was happy with how the design looked and how the fade was. So as long as you work nice and thin, you can come in with plenty of beads and you're not going to be adding loads and loads of bulk. Obviously, the less beads you get done in, the easier it is. But, you know, if you're just looking to perfect that fade, don't be scared to come in with a few extra beads of acrylic. And I'm just really fading them out and down the nail. And then I'm using these Chanel inspired logos, I suppose you could call them. Um, from the crystal studio so these are really really pretty and they are double-sided and one side's rose gold and one side is gold so it's really nice you know they fit in with most designs so i'm just placing a small bead of clear acrylic down and then placing that into the clear acrylic now you can bend these slightly so that they curve you know with your nail which was really, really nice because it meant that when I placed it down, there was no bit sticking up. It was nice and flush to the nail. The edges weren't sticking up or anything like that. So I've just placed that in my clear acrylic and then I've just left it to set so that it doesn't move when I come and encapsulate. And then I'm just gonna encapsulate the whole nail in clear acrylic. So I'm placing that first bead on, blending out the back of the bead and then walking it down towards the free edge. When you see me move my brush out of shot, that is when I'm wiping off any excess acrylic. Again, nice and, you know, nice, smooth, gentle strokes with my brush. And I'm really trying to make sure that the application is nice and even so that there's not loads of filing to do at the end. So then I just continue encapsulating this now in the clear acrylic until the whole thing is fully covered. When doing your encapsulation, you do need to also make sure that you're considering things like your structure and your apex. And then once that's all applied, I just left that to go and set. And you know that it's set once the whole now is completely matte. And then off camera, I went and filed the side walls, filed over the surface of the nail to contour it. And then I come in with my white block and gave it a good buff. And then here I'm coming in with my top coat and top coating the nail. 
So it was a really, really simple design, but I hope that you've enjoyed watching it. I really enjoyed creating it and I think it would look fab in a, you know, as a full set of nails actually. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments below. If there are any designs or videos you would like to see, then let me know and I will happily give them a go for you guys. If you did enjoy watching, then please give the video a thumbs up as it really helps. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you did. Bye bye.